Link 2012. Come here. Wonderful. Yeah, okay, get Mr. Recall. No, my pickaxe broke! I can't do anything! Please have a pickaxe in here? No. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go check. I think that there might be, uh... Might be a teleporter back right here. I can't remember. Man level one, fertile soul. Yeah, never mind. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go back. Nuts! That is not fun at all. Came all the way down here, and now we have to go back. Simply because we don't have pickaxe. It's interesting, the levitation... I can't see how much the jump boost is for. The jump boost is actually infinite when you hold on to this, but it removes as, as soon as you change. So you can actually use this to clear off any jump boost you have, technically. As long as it's a lower level than this. Or we might be losing the ability to sprint soon. Yep. And we have enough, we technically have gapples, but we're going. Yep, we're down. Okay, fine, I'll use a gapple. Just this once. The reason we're using a lot- yeah, again. The crazy coal blocks are giving us all the, all the hunger. I'm glad the coal blocks change back, though, once we step over them. Where's the residence? There we go. Okay, we're back. Let's get another pickaxe. Let's eat some food. Normal food. Uh, golden carrots. Boom. Oh, we already saturated up. I forgot. You have infinite saturation within one within this region. That's cool. That's really cool. We need a new pickaxe. I don't know if we want to keep using a spawner buster because they're really only one level of efficiency higher than the pickaxes we normally use. Oh, and then the next area we are going to have mining fatigue. I really don't know. I'm drop off some stuff. All right, I'm gonna take off the tie pixel test the tie pixel set because I don't want that to be activated. More diamonds that we really don't need. Another helmet. Okay, where's my gold? Right. I'm glad we're using up this glowstone though. We have so much of it. All right, it's a good block to have. It's a good block to use. Oh, we really didn't get that much. There's not a lot in this region, is there? That's okay. There's good stuff in this region. I like the junk in other areas. This is like the last enjoyable part of the map, too. The rest of it's gruesome and... and Oh man, it's just gonna be hard to get through the rest of this area. Okay, we're gonna need more gapples. Uh, why so many gapples? There we go. We don't have as much attack damage. Oh, never mind. We do have attack damage on the leggings. I was worried about that. I was like, eh, you know, we're losing out on a lot of attack. We don't have anything on the helmet and breastplate except the normal legendary stuff, though. Why do I keep going down here? I guess it's just instinct, because we've done that so many times. Where is the monument? Thanks for all the torches. You can technically generate infinite torches with the uh, 
with the bat. I think it's actually faster to run at this point than to uh, jump. Although when you get sections where I have to jump a lot, we might as well use charisma. So I've been doing that. I think, is there only one emerald in this area? I can't remember if there's one or two. I think there might be two. Maybe. I'm very, very proud of the background for my last area, though. I can't wait to show you guys. Well, actually, I'm proud of this whole section right now. This this part is great. I love this part. Right. Still taking some fall damage. I think they're not a ton. Excuse me. Some sleeping stones. What's this? Just another rune sword. You know, I'm gonna become desensitized to rune swords. I'm just not gonna worry about them anymore. I give the players way too many, to be honest with you. Cause swords last so long. Armor doesn't. Armor is the stuff that breaks. Then again, the rune swords are much higher of much higher quality than the swords here. So let me bear that in mind. Right. Time to go up here. It looks like we're going to have some fun getting up there. <laughs> yeah, I have the redstone to automatically destroy the arrow before it gets to the thing, to the, what's it called? The crystal. All right, we're in for a treat up here. That's what I'm most worried about. I'm most worried about the recalls. I don't care about anything else, really. Oh, you can actually come in the side, so you can ender pearl up here. Actually, explosive shots would be really valuable here. I'm all seven to unlock nostalgia. I think we've eliminated all seven now. Oops. Keep forgetting we don't have the the boots. <laughs> You know, someday we're going to jump off a giant tower, and then we're just going to die. We're, we're just going to die. Um, right, we don't need the sleeping stones. Really. Alright, so command level 1 truth. So you unlock these command levels as you break the crystals. And it's sort of a small reward to get you along the way, even though you really only get down here once you've destroyed most of the crystals. Um, and there's this really cool rainbow path that leads up to this door. And as you can see... Oh wait, we don't have all seven crystals. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one more right there. You see, these are all the seven crystals. Uh, the lights light up. All right, so command one truth. Right. Wrong. Fertile soil. Now when you step on grass, it becomes fertile. That's actually kind of cool. So if I step on dirt, oh. Yeah, it becomes tilled. I think that's kind of cool. Become barren. Now when you step on grass, it remains the same. Yeah, I like the fertile one. I really do. I'm going to keep that. Alright, this is next one. Summon object. What did we just summon? A torch. Oh, we... Wait, did we summon a torch or a light? Let's check. Oh, we summon light. Well, we now have an infinite source of light! We just cook a command block... Wait, what? Wait, what? Teleport back there. No, so I guess I jumped up too high. <laughs> Wait, no! I set it up so that way Charisma wouldn't make you jump up high enough. Alright, there's something going on here. I guess we... we yeah, we had unlocked something, but we didn't know we did. Okay. I don't remember if we have a 
teleport to go back. Please tell me you have a teleport to go back. No, I don't think we do. Nuts. And this is peripheral memory access, by the way. I don't think I ever read out the name to this this section for the final area. Well, apparently we haven't destroyed all the crystals. Alright, so we destroyed... We destroyed that one. How many have we destroyed in chat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have, we have destroyed all seven. Maybe the light just doesn't unlock until you press the button. To unlock it. I bet that's what it is. If not, then I'm going to be salty. I'm going to have to go into game mode one and three in order to fix it. I'm willing to bet, though, that because I'm the developer of the map, it doesn't work the same. I fixed all those issues in my other playthrough. That's been so long that I've forgotten all the commands. All the different game rules and whatnot that happen in this area. Man. Without any kills, you really don't... Your, your hunger really doesn't last. Yeah, so if you stand in the middle there and you look up, that's what happens. So we're not going to stand in the middle. So now we have create entity. <laughs> Command... Oh, two. Spatial manipulation. Complex physics. Look upwards on this plot to teleport. Yeah, we're not doing that again. All right, Command level four. Complex physics. Physics changed. We will now jump when looking upwards. No gain jump boost from looking upwards. I'm not gaining jump boost. Maybe because I have charisma on me? So you just gotta test it. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's so strange that that doesn't work. Oh, no, my, never mind. It has. It did. It's very strange. So I jump, I can jump about that high, about yay high, up to there. When it works, for some reason it's not working 100% of the time. Remember when testing, this was really cool. You jump on the right frame. Come on, come on. Yep, we can jump about that high. But with this, we can jump much higher. So we're keeping charisma for sure. Um, there's no way we're getting rid of this. And then, command level 7, peripheral memory access. Peripheral memory access granted. Nostalgia. This is where it ends. Good luck. All right, guys. We've come this far. We're going into the final area. This is it. What we've been waiting for. is supposed to be a trip down memory lane. This, this area is. Um, it's supposed to be nostalgic, and it's also supposed to lend a lot of light onto nostalgia as a whole. Now, we're really weakened players in this area, and that's for several reasons. The first, area, the first reason is that way you can explore the area at a slower pace. That way you can look through things. Now, the second reason is that I want it to be just uncomfortable. I don't want it to be fun. This area is not meant to be fun. This area is entirely philosophical. There is no enjoyable aspect to it whatsoever. You are in limbo. Players used to be sent here when the server had an error. This, that rarely happens anymore. 
To make this area feel more original and actually challenging, you'll be given the following debuffs. Slowness 3, Weakness 9, Mining D2. Weakness only really works on attack damage. So, we have minus 5.5 attack damage. Oh boy, so if we have a weapon that has like no attack damage, but it has smite, weakness doesn't apply. Backpack, quote unquote, upgrade. Hopper. When I first made backpacks, I overlooked hoppers. Using these nifty mechanic mechanisms, you can remove all of the berries in your backpack. Feel free to utilize this trick, and we'll agree to assume this bug was always an intentional thing. Now, I know that there's a few secrets here. There's a cupid right here. Cupid, cost 60 levels. There's also some stuff here. Under here. But with my mining fatigue, it's going to take forever to break. So this is why we would really like an axe in this area. So I might actually downgrade to an axe, I'm not sure. There are a few things I want to find and see in this level, in this area, before I take a break. Man, this takes a long time. I really underestimated mining fatigue too. The cupid is a mob that will give us re that will follow us around and give us regen. So that is really nice. Got an under in here. I don't if there's anything under here. I doubt it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break my back over it. This area was very difficult to make. I had to replicate it block by block based off videos of YouTube because uh, they could not get me the world download for this. Uh, I asked I asked around, I did research on the web, asked talked to the developers, but nope. Nobody had it. So here we are. In the actual limbo. I had issues with this burning down a lot. There was a lava a block right under this stump right here. It would always burn this place down. Oh boy, this pickaxe is so slow. Now these are... You know, actually, it's going to be less nostalgic if I walk around and just undo all the grass. So maybe I will change that. Maybe I will make it not so fertile. We'll see. Yeah, it actually deletes torches, so that's not good. Oh, there's some gravel here. I don't have the manpower to take it down. Too lazy. I need to make an axe or something along those lines. I'm sure there's some more secrets here. I forget what they are. Uh, I'm not going to go spend a ton of effort on that. We're going to go into this next area and hope that we survive. The connection to this area introduces us to all the mobs. For the strong in mind. Ha! Look at you! You're still trying! What a farce. You're all puppets tangled in strings, but somehow you still seem to think that you're the puppeteer. Welcome to the dollhouse. You see, the funniest part about all of this is that I'm speaking to you right now. But you're about as significant to me as an inanimate speck. Why do I care? Because you, speck, called out to me in your jail cell. Mm -hmm. So we're finishing unfinished business here. Perhaps. Oh boy. Okay. They drop coins. All right. Swarm zombies are best dealt with using an explosion. Oh yes, yeah, so we have silver tips or we just have exploding TNT. I stole this concept from another map maker. It's not my idea. I want the coins. Coins are almost as valuable as oh wow, there's actual blood here. Oh yeah, and we mine so slowly now. I'm really gonna want those lots of potions. Ah! 
Unfortunately, I had to slow down the AI of a lot of these mobs because it used up too much. Alright, so we have Infinity, Power 5, Flame 1, Punch 2. Grab on those. Nope. I don't know how big these guys are going to explode. Okay, well, I, that sort of answers the question a lot. They just explode a lot. Oh boy, man, there's a lot here. I don't think that area is normally open. I think it might have burnt down. Nope, that's normally there. Okay, whatever. We're good. We unlocked that early because of the explosion. Oh man, I miss having night vision already. Yeah, it's actually funny once you break that, the fountain normally goes down. Some way or another. But these guys, these guys are gonna be... The mobs in this section are normal. For a very particular reason. They look normal, of course. They, their AI is not. They're about as deadly as you'll get. Right, we need to go back and change those. How much damage do they do? Oh, they do a bit of damage. Ouch. And their, their attack that they just did also seems annoying. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, I'm not sure what potion he just dropped. A beastly potion. Okay, so these guys have beastly potions. That's quite nice. Come on, not. Now, of course, there is probably a secret up there. I have no doubt about it. Come on. I want my chest. Why is the backpack not working? Because well, I have two of them. I only have one. Guess what I'm putting in my backpack? A backpack! <laughs> Alright. PC potion. eerie though there's nothing there's no music it was that eerie music at first and now it's just oh, this, area, this area is weird i really wish i had aqua infinity instead of respiration to be honest with you oh wow we're up here and the bat's making hello good sir and so you have a skeleton who's has his hat Top hat. The top hat doesn't have any effects, but it's cool. This, this is a cool secret. Mm, that's pretty much it. Nothing up here, except this spooky, scary skeleton. 